Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. It's cold and it's rainy outside and I don't feel like cooking. So let's uh, cook some chicken legs in teriyaki sauce. Two ingredients, we'll do this in the crock pot. So let's get crocking. I have a four and a half pound tray of chicken legs here and I'm just gonna get these opened up. Oops, knock my lid off and break it. That's real good. Oh well. Anyway, I'm going to rinse these off and I think I'm going to peel the skin off them as well. So uh, let me do that and we'll be back. Here's a little trick I learned for getting the uh, skin off the chicken legs easier. I have bum arms because I have thoracic outlet syndrome so my arms hurt all the time so pulling on stuff like this hurts. But if you run hot water or warm water over the chicken leg like that, it softens up the skin and it comes off a little easier. Then you can just sort of grab a paper towel and pull it off like that. Kind of makes it quite a bit easier if you do it that way. Okay, the hard part's done. If you like the chicken skin, don't even worry about that. Now I'm just going to put some Mr. Yoshida's uh, teriyaki sauce in there. I know some people mix up their own, but I can buy sauce I like, so why bother? It comes in a bottle like this and also comes in a bottle like that, but it's the same sauce. So um, <clears throat> I'm just going to dump some in there with it. I don't know, just enough to sort of cover the chicken. I'm not even going to measure it out. Probably about a cup or so. That looks pretty good. All right, and I'm going to just cook this on high. So uh, if you do it on low, probably be about twice as long. All right. We'll get the lid on there and we'll be back later when it's done. All right, it's been about three and a half hours, so let's take a look at these. They are definitely done. They are falling apart tender. So if you cook these on low, it'd probably be, I don't know, five or six hours, something like that. Okay, um, let me grab a plate and we'll try them out. One last thing before we do that. When I was shopping the other day at the Grocery Outlet Bargain Market, I happened to see this. It's Riced Cauliflower. And I've never had this before, but I have seen it on John's channel, Juanello 1946 He's on a low-carb diet, and I've seen him use this Riced Cauliflower quite a few times in his recipes. And uh, he cooks a lot of fish. He has a lot of fish recipes, so... Um, I will put the link to his channel in the description if anybody wants to check it out. And he catches his own fish as well. He has a little lake on his place and it's one of the best uh, channels on YouTube if you ask me. So I'm just going to try cooking this in my steamer and hopefully not too many of those little pieces will fall through. But uh, I'm going to try it and we'll see how that works out. So as soon as this is cooked, then we'll grab a plate and try the chicken out. I think my cauliflower rice is done here. Looks good. Let me look underneath and see if any of it fell through. No, I don't see hardly any. So that worked out good. I steamed some broccoli and carrots to go with this as well. Turned out to be a pretty good looking meal. I'm going to try this um, cauliflower rice and see how that is. I put some of the teriyaki sauce over it. Hey, this is pretty good. Pretty much just takes on the flavor of that teriyaki sauce, kind of like rice does. I think it's pretty good. That bag of cauliflower rice was only 50 cents. Too bad I didn't buy more of them, but I didn't want to buy a lot if I didn't know how if I liked it or not so uh, look how tender this chicken is wow the chicken is great I love this teriyaki sauce I use it a lot it comes in big bottles but I use it for a lot of things so I don't mind that it gets used all right thanks for watching you guys I hope you'll give this a try sometime talk to you next time <laughs>